Our films and TV series are full of amazingly tough women. Women are not only tough, they're super tough and getting tougher all the time. Where's my dead eye? That would be me, sir. It's been modified to shoot tranquilizer darts. Can you shoot a man at 200 yards with that? With this, I can shoot the dick of a hummingbird. You will either calm down or I will calm you down. Well said, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, that's what every little boy wants, a girl to protect him. And a man wants a female to teach him how to fight, too. On tally, to get a ring and have my ass kicked by a girl. Seriously, air okay, come and try it out. If you want to give your ass kicked by a girl. This show is supposed to be positive about men, but once again, men are belittled on our screens. Here, a woman desperately jumps to escape an evil man. And then she's tough enough to sew up her wounds. Not since Rambo have we seen such toughness on our screens. Here we have a woman who thinks nothing of a gunshot wound. Here we even have a woman in the SAS. There's little doubt they've studied footage from the 1980 embassy job. So they'll be expecting a top team. Motion sensor! Sneaky bastards! Here a woman instructs elite fighting men in how to do their jobs. You'll have your dark clips and suppression ordnance, but live fires for backup only. And here, women battle demons, while men do the washing up. So. Alright, put your domestic problems aside, swatties, and settle up. Let's go. Alright, here's a skinny. Got multiple HTs inside, hostage count unknown. I need these perimeter streets cleared and these buildings evac. I saw action. That's battlefield style. What are you thinking? I'm saying I ain't seen that since Afghanistan. This shit something makes Cambodia look like Kansas. I ain't seen that since Afghanistan. Even the ultimate, toughest Terminator is a woman. You'll find a way to destroy her. Unlikely. I'm an obsolete design. DX is faster, more powerful, and more intelligent. Women can also battle aliens. Get away from her, you bitch! Beat up men one-handed. Okay. Take on dragons. and face down guns. Don't get in my way, Michelle! External security is already in position. You're not going anywhere. Women are not only as good as men in any field, they're often better than men. Women are the best pilots. These orders come from way above my head. They told me to put my best pilot on it. Needed a clean sweep of the area. The best of computers. I asked Buchanan if I can go instead of you. He wouldn't let me. He said you were the best analyst we have. He's right. I know. 
the best of cause. Whoa, nice headers. You've got a high-rise double pump carburetor. That's, that's pretty impressive, Sam. Double pump? It squirts the fuel in so you can go faster. Oh. Even the best at football. Come on, Jess. Go on, guys. All the way. It's all yours. Oh. 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 What are you doing, going? man? Oh. Everywhere are these tough women. A mafia captain is a woman. Of course she is. Let me ask you a question, Dan. Say I'm some big nigger standing here instead of a woman. You still going to tell me you've got most of it? And I'm sure kids can be in the mafia too. We see this woman posing as a bailiff. She's a partner in the family firm. I'm sure her effectiveness has nothing to do with the large man with her. Like a small child, she's playing at the job. A police academy trainer is a woman. And there are a glut of supernatural shows where women have special powers. Doesn't that burn your hand? <laughs> Xena and Buffy are stronger than men and have special powers. A land in turmoil cried out for a hero. She was Xena, a mighty princess. Here we have a woman being asked for her military advice. How long do you think it would take to train an army? Asking a woman how to train an army is like asking the queen how to do an oil change. Here we have a woman sacrificing herself to protect a man and woman. Come with us. You can't stop it. Someone's got to try. Now get out. Don't look back. Just run. This is an amazing scene because throughout history, women have never sacrificed in this way. They've always been the ones rescued first, while men perished. But on the BBC, women really step up. In this scene from the day after tomorrow, a man cuts his lifeline in order to save his colleagues. Frank! I can get you out! Don't do it! No, Frank! Frank, no! no! Frank! If it had been a woman, she would hang there until she was rescued or they all died. Women are wholly unfamiliar with the concept of self-sacrifice. This story was published on the BBC website. I was impressed. A woman could really cut it with the men in the Marines. But then I spoke with a real Marine. So if a woman completes a course, um, she then can't join the Marines? No. Commando course is a separate aspect. The Royal Marine training course is 36 weeks, and that eight weeks is basically um, an overview or a little bit of aspects of a 36 weeker. And the 36 weeks is the Royal Marine basic training. They come out one end, week one, 36, they come out Royal Marine. And eight weeks is just taking glimpses of the 36 weeks, and anyone from any force can have a bash at the eight week commando course if they're allowed. And they can go off and do it, and they can have like their own Green Beret, but it's not the Green Beret. So it seems that once again, we're presented with the false image of strong women. Men are often accused by feminists of being afraid of strong women. You know what your problem is, Billy? You don't even like strong women. It threatens your own masculinity. It threatens my... Oh, I love to hear this. Don't talk to me about respect for women, male chauvinist, King Kong, pig! In truth, men value strong women, and they aren't afraid of them. A strong woman doesn't blame others for her behaviour. A strong woman doesn't sue or seek to punish people who offend her. A strong woman can handle criticism without going ballistic. A strong woman doesn't need special assistance or special protections. It's the overwhelming majority of women, the weak women, that men have to deal with.